Hello everyone, uh, MP Roland here, and I'm coming to you with a let's play of Cthulhu Saves the World, a game that I have not played all that much of. I bought it the day it came out, but um, I have not actually had a lot of time to play it. I've been to play it for about a, an hour and a half, and I, I've really enjoyed it so far, just with the nostalgic visuals and and the, the, the pretty uh, pretty decent soundtrack actually for not being a professional studio at least with a, a true publisher and all that, so, um, I, I've really enjoyed it so far, so, and obviously here we have the opening cutscene, which is <laughs> pretty awesome actually, so, uh, I guess that is Cthulhu coming to Earth from beyond the heavens, and starry sky. Oh, okay. Where Ion's Cthulhu ruled from atop the great city of Rile? I, I don't know um, any anything really about uh, Lovecraft and his uh, Cthulhu mythos, so if I say any of anything like that wrong, of, of course, just feel free to correct me. <laughs> While the legends are silent as to the fall of the great Rile, I have to be saying that wrong, um, they all foretell the same prophecy. Something relating to the moon. Cthulhu will rise again. Uh, hopefully, because I'm guessing that's what the game is about. <laughs> and here we go. Uh, pretty sweet menu. What is this? Little accolades type thing, I, I suppose. Um, see, I, I already have a game, but it's it's not very far, so. We'll start a new one, and... Uh, Obviously, we're not going to do any bonus modes since we haven't beaten the game yet. Um, no easy mode. I don't. I don't feel. I mean, maybe it might be easier, of course, but uh, no hard mode for me. So, I guess since this is just a balanced playthrough and a, a commentated one, we'll go with normal. So, okay. For countless ages, that unthinkable being known as Cthulhu has lain dormant in his underwater city of Riley. Cthulhu, a being so terrible that his mere presence is enough to drive mere mortals insane. Cthulhu sleeps while the world above goes on, oblivious to his presence, until tonight. Da -da -da. Awaken, great Cthulhu, who is pretty huge. As Cthulhu emerged from the bay, the world seemed doomed indeed. But wait, what's that? Some random ass stranger, of course, appears in the nick of time, and makes us weak, and fucking turns us into a giant squid that is still alive, I guess. Uh, Cthulhu seems pretty pissed off by this. <laughs> In order to break the curse, and he would have to do the unthinkable. So, basically, we're gonna have to fucking save the world in order to destroy it again. Uh, hello, Cthulhu. <laughs> I guess that was a wonderful way to break the fourth wall. Pretty clever on, on uh, Z-Boyd's part. I like the music. I, I really do like uh, the music in this game. As a wannabe RPG hero, okay. Cthulhu being a fourth wall breaker again. Hmm. Okay. Do we get to start the game now, or, or no? <sighs> okay. <laughs> I guess he's making us uh, hit at those FPS's out there. Alright, I get it. I guess there's a breakdown in the abilities. If you want, you can pause it and read it. I don't really feel like it, so. Alright, let's go. Okay, we're actually moving now. Oh, that is nice. Three one ups to basically three free resets. I'm guessing it's able to prevent game overs. <laughs> at least I would hope so. Uh, let's turn that down a little bit, if I can. Um, uh, who is this? A helpless maiden beset by victorious monsters who we must save. Many heroic deeds. Okay. Thgagen. I, <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, looks like we're fighting now. So, I have regular attacks, I'm guessing. Uh... What is this? Insane strike, death blow. Well, sounds pretty nice to me. I 
I guess I'm retarded and don't know any magic, so we'll just go with attacking. Okay, so they're beating the shit out of me. Yeah, I'll just kill him. No, I'll, I'll use a uh, death blow. Ba Bam. One hit. That's nice. Okay, so I get, okay, I guess you gain HP and MP, which I'm guessing is what it's used for skills. So level four. I just started the game. Level up bonus. Um. Well, seeing as I don't have any magic, I might as well go with strength right now, right? And a beautiful picture of us killing slime. <laughs> what? Seriously? Okay, so this, this bitch is hitting on Cthulhu. She did not see a craziest octopus dragon, man. She saw this. That still looks like a crazy octopus dragon man with me, yet equipped with a sword standing atop of slime instead of cutting it in half, but... My hero... No, I don't think so, Cthulhu. Fuck <laughs> I don't know what to say. So I'm guessing she's our first party member. Oh, great. Well, I couldn't tell when you have a fucking starfish in your hair. With <laughs> tried which I used to stab things. Angry face. Okay, so we haven't really saved her except for some fucking piles of jello. And she's willing to devote her life to us. That's wonderful. And yes, Cthulhu requires groupies. <laughs> Does this mean we're dating now? Essentially all that means is I'm going to have much sex with her. And that's about it. Yay. Gain more allies to unlock more unite abilities. Okay. Oh, I like that. So I guess after fighting so many random battles, it just gives mercy to you. Is there random battles around here? Uh, uh, it doesn't seem there's anything up there. Oh, let's check this bridge with wonderful shadow effects. Town of Miskatonia. Wonderful. I like the music here. It's very nice. What is this? Oh. Oh, wait. Save points. Okay. Well, I guess we'll save. We'll just save over that. Um, hooray. I'm um, exploring this cave. I, I have no idea where I'm going. Um, okay. It, uh oh. <laughs> the slippery snail. Alright, let's see what you can do. Um, I'm guessing I have so much MP, I'll, I'll just use Insane Strike, I suppose. Siren's Call, what is that? Okay, seems pretty useless right now. She's probably weak, so we'll do this. Whatever. Okay, seems an all-hit attack, I like that. Ooh, I do like that. Killed all of them and basically demolished them. <laughs> These level up so fast. Uh, I I think I like that, especially because Cthulhu is meant to induce insane. So, uh, and if she can heal, I guess it doesn't matter if she's less likely to be attacked. So, I'll just heal Cthulhu anyway or herself. All right, so not that way. pick up anything or anyway um what is this a random crevice okay I have a feeling this is going to be a very long game if it comes to me and my play style which in involves exploring every pathway at least once fucking giant rats that's that's nice I'll just get rid of that and uh use some flood which didn't kill anything. Yeah. I uh, will get rid of that. Let's hurry this up here. Dun, dun, dun. All right. I don't like the sound of this because if I have to go all the way, 
Okay, I like that. A fleece tunic. Can I equip this? Okay, it looks like I can. Nice. Dress. Can we take the dress off, perhaps? No? <sighs> okay, we're at the 10 minute mark right now. I'm not sure how long I want to do this, but let's uh, let's just get a little bit farther. I'll go 15 minutes if that's okay with everyone else. I, I like this um, very fast battle system here. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody leveled up. Oh, come on. More branching pathways. Which I don't, I don't like this. If if I have to leave this dungeon, I'm I'm going back and exploring the other paths. I, I'll uh, I'll even cut those parts out if, if if I need to. Just because no one wants to sit, watch around, or watch me walking around for so long. But I I it's just OCD of me. So okay, <laughs> that slug's face just is uh <laughs> interesting. Uzumaki, okay. So we're fighting Naruto, the snail. Death snail. Alright. You know what? There's that save point back there. I'm not caring about my MP, so I'll just waste all of it. There. That's much faster. <laughs> oh, another level up. What do you know? Okay. Um... Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of magic right now. I'll do that for Yumi. I, I mean, Grant, if I'm wrong, I I guess I'll figure that out in the long run, but I like hitting things with my sword for right now. Random staircase. <clears throat> I don't like this. I I, <laughs> I want to explore everything, so if I, like I said, if I'm going out of this place, I must have that treasure chest. Which I probably can't get to this way, so. Oh, of course. There better be a way to get to it, or I'll be very angry. No. What is this? You know what? I'm going back. I gotta. F I, I need to find that. So, <laughs> sorry if this gets boring, but I, I can't help my OCD nature. Just on a plus side, the music is is nice. I, I guess. Wait. More slippery snails. Well, that was very easy. Did I already go this way? I think I did. No. Okay, so this okay. This is the way to the treasure chest. Wonderful. Five potions. All right. Can I save it here? I'll save it. <clears throat> well, I think for now I'm going to explore the rest of this cave. If you want to see it, I'll I'll record that as well. But um, for now I, I guess I'll save it again. But uh, hopefully, hopefully the game is a little bit more interesting at this point, so uh, I'll talk to all of you all later, and hopefully you tune in for the next episode. See ya.